this project you're going to need to download some software from GitHub before writing the rest. GitHub is a social media engine that allows programmers around the world to share code with one another. If you want to be a programmer, even just as a hobbyist, you will have little choice but to get an account on GitHub. To get GitHub going is simple and free. Just go to git-scm.com downloads and click on your operating system of choice, either Windows or Apple, and then follow the directions. After doing that, you need to get yourself an account on github.com by picking a username, entering your email address, picking a password, and then signing up. And that's all there is to it. This software called Git is command line software that does most of the work. The software at GitHub is a GUI interface that sits on top of the other software, making it much easier to use. We are now going to demonstrate how to load a project from a GitHub repository. Let's say we wanted to load the logo library, which is one of the projects you're going to be doing in this course. We would simply go to version control system and then go to checkout from version control and pick GitHub. After that, you need to locate in GitHub the library that you're trying to load. Let's go to GitHub now sign in and then do a search for the repository called Android Logo Library and you can see it pops up right here since this is the one that we want we're going to click on it and then we're going to click on this green button that says clone or download what we want is the URL that will allow us to clone this project or make a copy of it on our computer Clicking here exposes the URL that we want, and we click on this icon to clip it to our computer's clipboard. Once we have that secured, we return back to Android Studio and paste the URL in this link. The right mouse button does not work here, so you will have to use Control V to do the pasting. Normally, we would want to keep our project name the same as it's stored in the GitHub library. However, in this case, since we're loading a library and creating an app, we're going to change the directory name for our app to just say logo. Then we simply click on the clone button to make a copy locally. We're going to click yes here to say that we're going to open the project right away. You may notice that there are some IML file errors when you download from a Git directory. Simply ignore these and these files will be rebuilt by your project. We're now going to try and test out the new code that we have by opening it and looking for the source. We see that all the source code is here. As one final check, we're going to run the code to make sure everything is working properly. Once the emulator starts up, we're going to test the library code to make sure everything is working. Mm -hmm. 